Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. With the recession alarm bells ringing, the UK economy unpredictably shrank in August for the first time in two months. The UK economy tumbled by 0.3% according to the Office for National Statistics data. The unexpected drop was propelled by a strong decline in manufacturing and a slight service shrinkage, which decelerated the oil and gas sector's growth. The UK's economic growth was predicted to flatline by economists, even amid high cost pressures on households and businesses. The growth in July was adjusted downwards from 0.2% to 0.1%. Britain's gross domestic product is just 0.5% above its pre-pandemic level. That's the fourth quarter of 2019. The UK economy has witnessed shrinkage over the last three months with a slight downward adjustment in July. It added that the performances of several consumer businesses, such as retail, were advancing somewhat. Health, as well as sports events, also contributed towards the fall. Even though the falls were balanced because of better than expected summer performance for several professional services, the drop implies that the economy would probably shrink in the third quarter, indicating the start of a recession. The Bank of England has already sounded the recession at Bugle, with it suggesting the country could enter recession by the end of the year. While recession fears loom over the UK economy, investors can explore the performances of the following LSE listed stocks based on their year-to-date returns. With a market cap of £128.65 million, the Nanoco Group year-to-date return stands at 94.76% as of the 12th of October. Meanwhile, its one-year return stands at a whopping 105.47%. And with a market cap of £610.52 million, the RPS Group's year-to-date stands at 77.1%. Meanwhile, its one-year return stands at 79.72. The year-to-date return of the natural gas-focused exploration and production business Energian stands at 60.23%. Its one-year return stands at 50.88%. So let us know your thoughts on the UK day turn in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also press the bell notification for our upcoming videos. I'm Rachel for Calcai Media.